Hello! And here we are doing a slightly different method for making a mask. Uh, this one does not involve the plaster wraps. Uh, we're going to use paper mache instead. And uh, instead of using our faces or uh, a plastic prefab mold, we're going to make our own little mold out of uh, a new uh, cardboard base and uh, crumpled up scrap paper, any sort of paper. Uh, newspaper would be a great one, but uh, I end up having a bunch of uh, scrap paper, so that's what I'm using. Sort of balling it up and uh, building a little form that I'm wrapping with tape to hold it in place uh, right on top of that piece of cardboard. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sort of build like a, a dome shape uh, for a, a face that will become my mask. And any sort of features, I'm also going to put those on there as well. Um, uh, in my case, I'm just going to go for sort of uh, a big uh, protruding nose right in the front. And uh, if I want to add any more, uh, any more features that come out from the face shape, um, I'll add those on my next round of paper mache. But for now, I'm just going to add my first layer of paper mache right on top of this uh, built up form. Got my paper packed in there pretty solid. I'm going to start to tape on a, a nose shape right here to the front. Uh, also made out of bunched up paper and then sort of taped in place. Once I got that looking like a good base shape, uh, I'm ready to start uh, making the paper mache and adding it. I will uh, mix up a batch and I'll let you know how I do that. All right, there we go. <laughs> so I've got my uh, my paper mache mix going right here. I've got uh, two parts of white glue to one part of water. Um, basically you can take your white glue and just uh, water it down enough that it's easily spreadable, um, that it's like a little bit thinner. Uh, the thinner that you make the glue, the longer it will take to dry, but um, it will still work even if it's pretty watery. So uh, again, you can use any sort of uh, scrap paper that you've got for this. Um, I think uh, thin paper works very well because uh, you can fit it around all the shapes. So every strip I dunk into my, uh, my paper mache mix. Uh, I sheet off using my fingers some of that excess liquid. And then I lay it over the form that I created, created and uh, sort of gently uh, smooth out all those, uh, all the edges and creases from the paper. And I'm just going to do one layer right now, but probably will come back in to add another layer and uh, add on any more uh, sort of forms and shapes that I want to include in my mask. And when I'm finished, I'll uh, put that aside and uh, prop it up so that it can fully dry before I do anything else to it. 